Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Retro Pi 4.6 was recently released with support for the Raspberry Pi 4. And today I'm going to show you how to set up the ReDream emulator so we can run our Dreamcast games at full speed using our Raspberry Pi 4 running Retro Pi. Now this is just a base image. I've installed a few games here. And if you go in to add Dreamcast games, you'll notice that there's no Dreamcast section yet. And that's because we need to add the ReDream emulator from the experimental section. And in order for ReDream to work, you have to be using a Raspberry Pi 4. You can use the 1, 2, or 4 gigabyte model. I have the 4 gigabyte model here, and I do recommend overclocking. It will help out. I'm overclocked to 2.1 gigahertz on the CPU and 700 megahertz on the GPU. First thing we need to do is make sure we're connected online. I'm connected with Ethernet. You can use Wi-Fi if you'd like. We're going to head over to Configuration and from here we're gonna to go to RetroPie setup now whenever I go in here I always update the RetroPie setup script I'm just gonna click OK yes and like I said you have to be online for all of this to work all right so now that we have that updated we can head to manage packages manage experimental packages and from here we have a redream option we're just going to choose this by making sure OK is highlighted. And we're going to choose the first option, Install from Pre-Configured Binary. Yes. Give it some time to finish up. And we now have ReDream installed on our Raspberry Pi 4 running RetroPi. We're going to back up. Exit. And now we need to add some Dreamcast games. And I do want to go over this in the video real quick. I'm going to be adding them over network from my Windows PC. So I need to grab my IP. I'm going to go to show IP. At the very top here, my IP is 192-168-1-98. So that's what I'm going to use on my Windows PC to connect to my Raspberry Pi remotely so I can add my games. I'm going to leave the Raspberry Pi just like it is and move over to my Windows PC now. Okay, so here we are at my Windows PC. We're going to go ahead and transfer some Dreamcast games over to my Raspberry Pi. I have some on my desktop in a folder called Dreamcast. Now, ReDream supports CDI and GDI games. GDI are what I usually use, but for some reason, as of making this video with RetroPie 4.6, Emulation Station isn't pulling the GDI out of the folder, so it's going to be a subfolder there. It's still very usable like this, but you will have to go into that subfolder and then choose the game to start the game. Now with GDI games, you're going to have the GDI file, your bin, and your tracks, just like you would with an older PlayStation 1 game using bin and Q files. Usually it picks up this right out of the folder, but it's giving us subfolders. So a lot of people might be interested in using CDI right now, but with GDI, keep in mind, you can use cheats with ReDream and with CDI, you cannot. It's just a little quirk it's got. I'm not sure exactly why. I prefer using GDI, but a lot of people will be using the CDI format. So I have both here. I'm going to go ahead and open up a file explorer. And at the very top, I'm going to type in my IP, which was 192.168.1.98. Inside of here, we have BIOSes, configs, and ROMs. We're going to go to ROMs. We now have a Dreamcast section. So I'm just going to take all of my games from here, place them right in there. It's going to take a little while to transfer over. We can restart Emulation Station, and then all of our games will show up for Dreamcast. So I'm going to let this finish transferring over, then I'll move back to my Pi. All right, so we're back at the Raspberry Pi. We're exactly where we left off. We're just going to exit this menu here. Press Start on the controller. Scroll down to Quit, and Restart Emulation Station. This is just going to refresh our ROMs list. And now, if we scroll over, you'll see we have a Dreamcast section. We're going to enter this menu, and as you can see, we have all the games we added. All the ones in white are the CDI games. We can start them directly from here. And at the very bottom here, we have that GDI game. It's in a subfolder. If we enter the subfolder, we can start the GDI from here. Most people will be using these CDIs right now. So we're going to go ahead and launch it. And remember, ReDream is a standalone emulator. We're going to start Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And we're now playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on the Raspberry Pi 4 using ReDream. So I have an Xbox One controller connected, and if I press my hotkey, which I set up as my Xbox button, it'll bring us into the ReDream emulator. Now we can navigate this menu using our analog stick on our controller, 
and there's a few things I like to change in here. First up, we have input. If you cannot get to the menu by pressing your hotkey, you can plug a keyboard in and press escape. It'll bring you to this menu here. You'll navigate to input, and from here, you can choose your controller. So I got the Xbox One S controller, and now we can configure the controls from here. You can map this how you'd like to. You can set the analog dead zone, and we also have our main menu button, escape on a keyboard or joy A. You can change this if it's not working from your controller. So I'll back up. Next thing I like to change is video. So we'll enter this menu, window size. We want to set this to 1280 by 720. So now we're at 1280 by 720 with the window size. I leave frame skip to auto, and I want to turn on my FPS counter. It'll be up in the top left hand corner. I leave vertical sync on. We can go to system and there's not much more you need to change in here. We have the region, language, broadcast, NTSC if you want to run these at 60, and cable, VGA. So that's it. I'm going to go back to now playing. You can save your game from right here, but I'm going to resume the game and I'll skip right into some gameplay. So here it is. I have that FPS counter up in the top right hand corner. We're getting a constant 60 with Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and I've had really good luck with everything that I've tested on the Raspberry Pi 4 with this overclock and Redream. It's just really awesome to see Dreamcast games running at full speed on the Raspberry Pi 4 using RetroPie. To exit, I just press the hotkey and navigate to exit within Redream. It'll bring us back into the emulation station menu. So I'll go ahead and start up another game. We'll go with Soul Calibur. And I'll just skip right into some gameplay. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You now have full speed Dreamcast emulation running on your Raspberry Pi 4 using RetroPie. And I definitely recommend doing a little bit of an overclock. I would at least go to 1.8 gigahertz, but I'm overclocked to 2.1 on the CPU and 750 megahertz on the GPU. Everything that I've tested with Redream on the Pi 4 like this has run great. But that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. I know there's going to be a lot of new users now that RetroPie has been released for the Raspberry Pi 4. And if there's any other tutorials you want to see, just let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.